All right, so we finished up with round one and we've got some ties that need breaking. Yes, in a couple of categories, actually all the categories except for the $25 and under, we had a tie, we couldn't decide. Uh, so instead of it being complicated and us moving forward with a Chad winner and a Sarah winner, because it's already complicated enough, we decided we were gonna bring a third party in to break those ties. That is correct. So we're going to pour these up blind for this third party. They won't even know what category we're pulling from. So please welcome friend of the show and my daily bourbon on Instagram, Chad. So I'm here to settle the score. I don't know what category these are from. I don't know what they are. All I know is they are blind. Nice brown sugar, toffee note, very bright, a little bit of citrus, good cinnamon sugar note on the palate, a little bit of black pepper. Let's move on to B. Hmm. It's a nice caramel brown butter, a little bit of earthiness. Earthiness comes through on the palate with a little bit of fruit, nice dried cherry note. Let's go back to A. Still getting that same toffee on the nose. This is tough. I think I have a winner. I'm gonna go with B. And B is. Four Rows of Small Batch Select against Maker's Mark 46. Four Rows of Small Batch Select is moving on. And for those of you at home, that is the one that original recipe Chad picked. For those who don't know, I am extra crispy. Now they're gonna set up my next round, so I will see you then. So on to the next round, I'm here to settle this score. There's like a grassy rye note in there, like a rye bread. Same on the palate, very rye bread forward, nice rye. This, is, this has gotta be a high rye bourbon, I'm assuming. This is B, a little softer, sweeter, nice vanilla, a little bit of a tea and honey. Yeah, lemon tea on the palate as well, lemon tea and honey. I feel like I'm picking up a good bit of minerality on B. So let's make my decision. I'm gonna go with A, and A is Knob Creek Small Batch versus Cooper's Craft 100, wow. I always thought I loved Cooper's Craft 100. Yeah, Knob Creek Small Batch for the win on A. So that's another one of Original Recipe Chad's picks moving on. And now they're gonna get me set up for the final round. So let's get to it. You know the drill, these are blind. Let's nose and taste them. Dessert filled on the nose. Nice creme brulee, good toasted sugar. Let's give it a taste. Very much transfers over to the palate. Good toasted oak note. Some tannins to it, nice spice, cinnamon, a little bit of black pepper. Let's go on to B. B's got a little like funky citrus burnt orange peel. Also, it's a similar toasted oak note. Good bit of chocolate on the palate, nice caramel. It's a very basic profile, but a very enjoyable profile. A lot more fruit coming out now on A than in the beginning. I think I've made my decision. I'm gonna go with B, and B is Old Foe 1910 versus New Rift Single Barrel. All right, so Old Forester 1910 is B and it's moving on. And this is a win for Sarah. So you can see why some of these might have been a really good matchup and why some might have been a struggle. So tell us, what do you think about that? I appreciate it's Bourbon Night for letting me be the judge. And if you want to follow me and see my content, you can look at me on Instagram at My Daily Bourbon. Thanks again to Chad for My Daily Bourbon for helping us settle those scores. Two Chads are always better than one. Is that true? It's Is fair. that true? No, it's very true. Uh, well, okay, we'll see. Yeah. All right, now we're ready to go into round two, and here's a look at the updated bracket. In fact, if you would like to print out the bracket, you can do so. There is a link down in the description. Now it's time to move on to round two, but there can only be one winner. And we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. But, but until then. <laughs> drink more bourbon. <laughs>